coming to book club tonight? Meet you there. After you. Whenever I read this book, I can still hear the... Yeah? Welcome to book club. Yeah, okay. I didn't realize Steve knew the author. I really should have read this when he first asked. If you... You good? I am ready. Before we start, I want to welcome Logan to the book club. What did you think of the book? I uh, didn't read it. Okay then, guess I'll start. Steve, I really enjoyed this book. What stood out to you? I know people have different approaches to leading others, but I never considered what drives them to do so. Take Custer. He led from the front and was mostly loved by his troops, but his drive for personal glory affected every choice he made. Eventually, Custer picked a fight he couldn't handle. His recklessness led to the death of himself and every soldier he commanded. His mistake was making decisions to elevate his own standing instead of his troops. Makes sense. The better they do, the more he gets credit for leading them to victory. I think the biggest lesson, beyond don't be Custer, is that an outsized ego is a double-edged sword for a leader. Also, you can't just get through life with a pretty face. I thought you didn't read the book. I didn't, but I picked things up from context. I learned more about George Washington from this book than anything I was taught in school. Yeah, that surprised me as well. Before this, I associated him with statues, paintings, and the dustiest parts of American history. But here we see a military leader whose personal ambition was the victory of his army. He was clear-eyed about his goals and knew how to get out of his own way. Washington led from the top, though he kept counsel with various advisors. Once he made a decision, he expected his subordinates to follow his orders. For less capable people, that sounds far too rigid a way to lead. Yeah, I find it's best to leave some wiggle room. Give your people objectives and the resources to achieve them. More than anyone else in the book, Washington believed true leadership is a contract bestowed upon you by those whom you lead. And that's where the book gets its title? Right. The mantle of authority. It's something that augments you. Which brings us to our final profile. We really don't have to do this one. And now I'm interested. Steve, how long have you bugged me to read this? Not because of the chapter on me. You all know General Phillips selected me for the Super Soldier program. For a time, he commanded me in the field, and that's why my profile is in the book. He was kind to say I led by example. Maybe that's how it used to be. But the Avengers isn't a military organization. If I gave Tony an order, he'd laugh in my face. To get anything done, I need the group's consensus. I can't give pretty speeches about the need to sacrifice. I have to show that putting in the effort today will make a better tomorrow. It cannot be as simple as you make it sound. Oh, it never is. It's a constant struggle. And you won't always see eye to eye. Still, I find it's absolutely worth the effort. Leadership you can gain, but trust, that you have to earn. But I find little enjoyment in talking about myself, so... Yeah, let's end it here. All right, we'll call it here. Next month is... Hunter, do you have any books to suggest? None from the past few centuries. Then Logan could pick the next one. Sure. The Adventures of Crash Morgan Number 5, The Last Queen at Deimos. What is that exactly? It's about a space explorer with a ray gun, a jetpack, and a fishbowl helmet. Travels through space with a robot dog. They get in wacky adventures. That's a classic. A buddy of mine had that in basic. 
I'm always up for space nonsense. I'm not, but that's the book. I'll give it a shot. I'm not sure why Logan joined Book Club if he's not going to read the books. You are not required to do so. Come on, it's the principle. I'm actually surprised Steve recommended this book. Why? Steve can take a compliment, but he's uncomfortable with praise, especially from someone he respects. What did you think? Well, the punch is decent, but there should have been a bigger spread. I meant, what did you think about Book Club? I just told you. Thumbs up for punch, thumbs down for snacks. Well, at least Logan showed up. You did not think he would? I wasn't sure he'd be in the book club, and I don't know what to expect from that book of his. The name alone has me intrigued. Hmm, maybe you're right. I should learn to roll with the unexpected. You welcomed a resurrected demon slayer into your life. Now we read books together. Can't argue with that. When you first joined, I wanted you to keep an open mind about Book Club. I owe Logan the same courtesy you showed me. Good call. On your way out? I should leave. Later then. He's close, Hunter. Kathon is slithering his way into this dimension. I can feel it. I see you and Caretaker are on the mend. Seems so. I should be happy about it. But how can I be happy about anything when the Temple of Kathon is wreaking havoc on my home? I grew up in Transia, you know. In a remote village at the foot of Mount Wondercore. It's all destroyed now along with those poor people's lives. If transients are anything like you, I have faith in their resiliency. We are known for being a tough crowd. It's a hard life there. Lots of conflict, lots of tragedy. Hard lives make hard people. They will survive and one day, rebuild. And I'd like to be around to help them. But first, we have to stop your mom. I'm afraid of her, you know, of seeing her. I mean, what if it happens again? What if she turns me back into bad Wanda? What if I go dark? If it came to that, we would find a way of removing her corruption again. I appreciate that, but I don't think you're going to have time for all that while you're also trying to stop Kathon from tentacle climbing into this dimension. You are right. We probably will not have time to save you. You wouldn't? I am joking. Oh, you almost got me there. No one is leaving you behind, ever again. Promise? Cross my heart. Ah, <sighs> well. I ought to get back to the news. See what new horrors are befalling my hometown. 
Do not watch too much of it. The overconsumption of news media is supposed to be bad for your mental health, especially during an apocalypse. There are worse things for your mental health, Hunter. And I'm pretty sure I've experienced them all. I'll take my chances with a little cable news. Night. Wanda, there's something I ought to say to you. The mysterious structure, which has I been hope Aunt May isn't watching this because she's going to flip. Has suddenly appeared in the war-torn Republic. We try to of stop it, but decimating we screwed up, Robbie. It's Wanda's okay. You can say it. Doesn't matter who screwed up. What matters is that we're screwed. Every social media outlet with the hashtag Apocalypse Wow. We're in the end game now. Transia. I don't know how we always end up back there. Can you not? You have gone too far, Mother. I could say the same to you, child. Leaving me for dead and buried under that mountain. What a way to treat your mother. What would you have me do? Allow you to destroy all of creation? The Hulk was right. You are somewhat overdramatic. The truth shall reveal itself soon enough. The Darkhold is finally complete. The prophecy draws to its close. The Midnight Sun is coming, and with it, him. We will all have our final parts to play. Will you be ready when the curtain rises? It is not I who seems to be wrestling with their destiny. What are you not telling me, Mother? Such an inquisitive and perceptive child. You remind me of him, you know. I thought we could not talk about him here. Don't be ridiculous, not him. Him, your father. The similarities are impossible to ignore. I have never heard you speak of him until now. We close upon the end of a billion years prophecy. Forgive me if I am a bit sentimental. I sometimes wonder if I could bring his soul to this place. To have him stand once more beside me. Beside us. I implore you, do not. In his death, he has been spared the sight of the foul creature you have become. I envy him for that. What? No snappy comeback? Promises that we shall be reunited under the glorious eye of the Midnight Sun? No, child. Not this time. Agatha? I'm sorry to intrude, dear. Do you have a moment? For you? Of course. You always came to me for advice when vexed by a difficult problem. Never Sarah. I could always count on your wisdom. Really? I always feared I was flying by the seat of my broom. Did I tell you I had one of those in the 1960s? 
Hmm, quite comfortable. A seated broom? Where is it now? Can I see it? Lost in the chaos of an unforgettable music festival. <sighs> it was a wild year. Ugh, a shame. So, what troubles you? I don't know how to say this without sounding melodramatic, but... Despite our actions, the prophecy unfolds. Cathan's return seems inevitable. Yet all I can do for the people I love is... Haunt a library and play macabre tour guide. Agatha. I should be here with Sarah and yourself, helping to bring the team together. But I never have felt more... useless. Ugh, I'm sorry, Hunter. I'll leave you to your rest. Agatha, wait. Good night. Agatha. Hunter, I'm coming in. Where is she? I heard you speaking with her. What exactly did you hear? Agatha. Speaking with you. I see. Do you deny it? I have to. Why? Hypothetically, I made a promise to deny it. To whom? I think you know. So you promised Agatha not to tell anyone? I can see that. Even caretaker. Could be. But she might change her mind if she knows I can hear her. Maybe. And for sake of argument, how soon might she change her mind? Soon, hypothetically. <sighs> All right. I'm trusting you, Hunter. Good night. Quite a view out here, Logan. You know, I didn't always go by Logan. Or Wolverine, for that matter. Once upon a time, they used to call me Weapon X. Not exactly warm and cuddly, eh? Tough. Deadly. It suits you. Maybe so. But sometimes, I wonder how things would have turned out for me if I had been given a different name. You know, something softer, like Bob or Moonchild. You ever think how your whole destiny got laid out the minute they named you Hunter? My name does not define what I am. Yes, I hunt evil for now, but it will not be forever. Well, for your sake, I hope they let you retire. I think you got lucky with somebody like Caretaker watching out for you. I suppose her name is fitting, then. I'd have killed to have someone like Caretaker in my life. One way or another, I've lost everybody I ever cared about. That must have been hard on you. For a while, yeah. But lately, I've been feeling like I'm getting my edge back. Like when I was younger. Oh? What changed? Uh, could be a lot of things. Maybe I've been eating better. Maybe it's some kind of weirdo Abbey magic at work. Or 
Maybe it's the fact that I somehow managed to make a new friend. I am heartened to hear you feel like you are getting your edge back, Logan. Just keep pointing me at the bad guys and we'll get along great. I ain't had a real teammate I could count on since I took a break from the X-Men. How is it? It's kinda nice. I was thinking, what if you or Matt... What have you got for me, boss? How's that for quality workmanship? Sometimes, I even impress myself. How long did you say you were exposed to this thing? Eh, it's probably fine. Found another artifact, Hunter? This should serve our purposes. I'm here if you need me. I apologize for not having the bandwidth to speak last night. It's just... I'm still in a bit of shock. My mind has been spinning trying to process it all. You are not the only one whose mind is spinning. Everyone here, present company included, have been rattled by the events of days past. We are on the precipice of doom, aren't we? Still, though, there's no excuse. I must pull myself together. At any moment, my sister will unleash Cathan upon the planet. Yet Wanda is back in the library reading as if we were back to normal before... Agatha passed. 
half of me wishes she was here so I could ask her for guidance, for a way out of this mess. And the other half? Is glad she's not alive to endure the horrors of what a Cathan rain would bring. Still, I wonder what she would say if she was here. Have you considered Agatha is here, watching over us? Huh. That's a sweet thought, Hunter, but not a very realistic one. I know this abbey is haunted, but I would know if Agatha was still one of its specters. No. She is beyond the black. Hopefully in a serene and beautiful dimension far, far from the calamities of this one. Ah, I need to get my head together. Now that the Temple of Cathan is revealed, our options are dwindling. You're looking stronger than ever, kiddo. We can. I dropped ten cubic tons of rubble on Lilith's head, and she still managed... Forward to our next mission. She has a uh, hey, can I ask a favor? <laughs> Magic is right. What's done is done. First time I've been here since, well, since I had to leave the Abbey. And? For obvious reasons, Agatha is on my mind. I can't imagine how much pressure it would be to carry that kind of secret. Of course, I'd like to know more, but I trust you're doing the best you can. It has not been easy. Then I won't add to your burden. <sighs> I don't know what I expected to find here. Books, usually. Thank you for that. I meant, Agatha and I spent so much time here, I expected to feel... I don't know, anything at all? Instead, I'm just... numb. <sighs> I'm starting to feel guilty that I don't feel guilty. I am very familiar with what you describe. Really? Who was it for you? The first Midnight Suns. I last saw them the day of my death. If I had not rushed off to fight my mother, all of us could have survived. When I think of them, there is an empty sadness. I can still hear their voices, picture their faces, but their absence mm, hollows out my heart. Oh, that's exactly it. And it's reassuring. How so? I'm not alone. And that means so much. Well, I should get back to my studies. Agatha, a moment? Yes, Hunter? And why are we whispering? Meet me in my room. We need to talk. All right. What is this about? Wanda knows you are in the Abbey. Last night, she overheard us speaking. She did? She confronted me and demanded to know where you were. What did you tell her? I could not lie to her. Not about this. I'm glad you didn't. If Wanda overheard me, the rules have changed. Should we tell her? Yes, this evening. I'll seek you out after the mission. Here I go, stirring up trouble. Feels like old times.
I ain't much of a conversationalist. More of a fighter. Right then. This is as close as you'll get to a straight fight. Take that thing down. They can give you their march towards hell. Do not allow them to distract you. That does not sound like much of a challenge. Lilith's disciples have come in Vengeance returns. Now 
They're mine. this Wanda is at my shrine, calling out for me. I think she deserves an answer, don't you? Then we should speak with her. I'll meet you at my shrine. Hunter, you promised me the truth about Agatha. I should let her tell it. Agatha is here? Right now? I'm right here, Wanda. Can you not see me? Agatha? Where are you? Just my voice, then. Better than nothing. Agatha, I... There's so much I have to say to you. Wanda, please. You are my pupil. I shall not have you bear the burden of my death. I lost control. No, I did. I pushed you too far, too fast. Yes, but I have to... My dear, this isn't the first time you visited my grave. I heard all you confessed. There is no need to repeat it. And there is very little time. Cathan grows restless in his slumber. I can aid you in this fight, but I'll need your help. Both of you. My connection to this world is tenuous. There is a ritual that can bind me to this place. First, I'll need you to retrieve a... memento. I am unfamiliar with any ritual you describe. It was in one of the books I wouldn't allow you to read. I read many of those books. Yes, you were a precocious child. Those books were decoys. I knew it! I'm sure you did. What exactly do you want us to bring you? Sarah's grief is my strongest tie to the world. This memento symbolizes our tie to one another. 
What is it? I don't know, but it's somewhere in her room. The closer I get, the more painful it is. A ghost can feel pain? I'm not thrilled about it. How should we go about this? Hunter, you know Sarah better than most. I'm relying on you to search her room and find this memento. Whatever it is. And what should I do? Observation and distraction. So, I'm the lookout while the hunter pokes around caretaker's room? I do it myself, but... Oh, it's no problem. One of my favorite shows involves a weekly heist. Now, both of you promise me Sarah cannot know about the ritual. Not until it's done. Why not? The more she knows, the less chance we have to pull it off. Hmm. I have kept your secret this long. And I can keep it as well. Good. I believe in you both. You can count on us. Wanda. She already left. Oh. Well, time to sneak into Caretaker's room and steal one of her heirlooms. Let's go before I talk myself out of it. You and me both. Right behind you. Hunter, I'm outside the door. As soon as you find it, I'll give you the all clear. Wanda? Uh, hi, Nico. What are you doing at the caretaker's room? Nothing. And I'm... Not outside her room. You're leaning against the door. Oh, I guess I am. But I'm waiting on the hunter. Oh, for what? I'm going to confess my feelings. What? It's true. I have strong feelings for... Uh... Nico, do you mind if I wait alone? Oh, right, right. Good luck. All right, she's gone. Hurry up. This is harder than it looks on television. How's it going in there? Found it. All right. Wanda? The coast is caretaker. Hi. How are you, uh, doing? I'm tired. It's been a long day. Oh, I know the feeling. We should, um, take a walk. Around the Abbey? Why would we do that? It's good to, you know, get the blood flowing after a long day. So how about we... Wanda, it's late. I'm going to bed. I want to talk to you about Agatha. You do? I... Can we take that walk? It's about something she said to me about Wanda, you. Wanda, this topic is out of bounds. I'm not asking to be forgiven. I know I'll never make it right. But I have a wonderful memory of Agatha speaking fondly of you. It's not fair to keep it from you. So, could we take that walk, please? Uh, all right. A short walk. A short walk. You'll be back in uh, a few minutes, at most. <clears throat> Let's go. I'd like to get this over with. That's <clears throat> perfectly clear. Are you all right? Just a small cough. <clears throat> Why don't we head through the yard? Hunter. Ileana. What were you doing in Caretaker's room? Agatha is a ghost. She asked Wanda and I to recover a locket. We need it for a ritual to restore Agatha. Then she can help us all fight Lilith. That is absolutely amazing. Tell no one. Let me join the ritual. Okay. I will. Then I saw nothing. Are you out? Uh -huh. Good. You know where to meet me.
in Azua. I never want to do that again. Digging through her things? That did not feel good. If the ritual works, Caretaker may be able to hear Agatha again. How does that feel? Better. For me, too. So what next? I'll take the... what was it? A locket. Hmm. I assume Agatha will tell us how it fits into the ritual. And that I shall. Agatha, we have Caretaker's memento. I know. I can feel it. Would you be a most faithful apprentice and place a ward upon it? Of course. That's better. Now, do you recall the binding ritual in the Libris Illicitus? The Grey Seneschal? But that's... Forbidden, yes. I was going to say extremely dangerous. And I would never suggest it unless the circumstances were this dire. What is this ritual exactly? The Grey Seneschal requires an item that binds the spirit to a person or place. Why is it so dangerous? Because the first step of the ritual is to destroy that item. And for a short time, the spirit is extremely vulnerable to dissolution, to possession, to destruction. I am not entirely comfortable with this. But if you are taking the risk, I will support you. I am so proud to know the person you've become, Hunter. Trust me when I say the risk is worth it. Should the ritual work as expected, everyone in the Abbey will be able to hear me, to see me. I'll be able to help when it's most needed. We do this when the moon is right. But it all falls apart if Sarah learns what we're planning. Why? This ritual is one of hers. She made it centuries ago. She knows how great the risks, and how slim the odds. And there's no chance in hell she'll allow Wanda to lead the ritual. Yet for us to succeed, Wanda it must be. No. I can't do this. Wanda, this ritual's power lies in its inherent contradictions. And what greater contradiction can there be? than for me to restore your spirit to life. But Agatha, if I lose control... You won't. How do you know? Because you're my best apprentice. Because you learn from your mistakes. And because I want you to know I truly forgive you. For that to happen, you'll need to see it in my eyes. <sighs> All right. Now to prepare. Wanda, I'll be in your room. We'll go over every step of the ritual. I'll meet you there. She already... I know. Hunter, do you believe I can do this? Yes. I have no doubt. Why? Because you are the only person who ever resisted my mother's control as one of her fallen. It wasn't enough. It was just enough. That is why you are here. <sighs> okay. When the moon is right. When the moon is right. No pressure.
Let's talk, Hunter. Man, that was a hell of a ride, partner. Finally restored satellite connection to Transia. Get it up on the screen, now. Hydra's fist grows tighter around Transia, and now Lilith's twisted children roam free. A glimpse into all our futures if we fail to stop her. Those people need to evacuate. Are those Hydra soldiers blocking the bridge? Not just soldiers. That's... Hey, Captain Wonderboy! Can you hear me? Crossbones. I know you're hiding out in your little fun house. So listen up. No one's getting out of this country except in a body bag. Or unless you're brave enough to swap places with them. So what do you say? You're man enough to face me? <laughs> Anytime, Rumlo. Do you remember the battle? Rumlo's taunting me. Trying to get me to engage. 
He wants you to fight him. Going to Transia would play right into his hands. Yet I can't stay here and do nothing. Those people need us. Do not let your emotions get the better of you. We will go to Transia and we will help those people. But on our timeline, not Rumlow's, we will hit him when the time is right. That's a good strategy, if we were dealing with anyone else but Rumlow. He's threatening innocent people right now and I can't wait. Not when people's lives are on the line. Rushing into the situation will place you in grave danger. That's the risk I have to take. So then, what is your plan? My plan is to stop Rumlow no matter what. If he's gonna fight anyone, he's gonna fight me. After that, I'll make it up as I go along. Rumlow's not going to get away from me again. Not this time. Our Transia situation's getting worse. Hydra's blocking our transports. Crossbones keeps taunting us. Do not engage Steve. 